Okay, I'm here with Eric Bennett, and uh, he's one of the promoters. Uh, and then, uh, what, what's your exact title here, Eric? Uh, I'm a wildlife technician with Interval Associates. We're a non-profit organization who deals with a lot of uh, endangered or threatened species on the island of New Play. Okay. Yeah. And you want to tell people why you're here today? Yeah, I'm here today because uh, thank uh, thank you, Charlie, too, by the way, for volunteering. He's going to volunteer with the Hair Snake program. Uh, basically, what it is, it's a boards. It's a, a non-invasive trap that you set up in the trees, and you basically collect Martin hair samples. So the Martin will come up. You'll have a free meal. And you put it on a tree like this, and you will fold it. And put to, after you place your sticky tabs on the boards, and then when you fold it and have it onto the tree, the martin will actually come up, and you'll stick his head in for there, have a free meal, and they will gather hair samples, which then can be sent off to the wildlife division in Cornerbrook, and then done for DNA analysis to find out where the martin is to in the province, and to see how much we're having to. Because hopefully these martins will be no longer be a threatened species in Newfoundland, and that's what we all want for sure. Absolutely, it'd be yep. a very successful recovery story for, for uh, oh Newfoundland wildlife. Yes. Guaranteed. And here's and Newfoundland Pine Martin and Newfoundland Pine Martin, in case people don't know, is its own different subspecies of, exactly, of Pine Martin. Yeah, yeah so Newfoundland they, Pine Martin. They tend to be a little larger than the mainland cousins. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger and also one thing too, they adapt really good to, uh, to the Newfoundland. Uh, to Newfoundland. Uh, here's just the kit we got into it, so we're your, uh, we're your good uh, con conservationist, Charlie. I put in a lot of things for you, so. I gave you our living room review letter because this is this promotes a lot of the salmon work we do on the island during the summer times. Got our signs we put along the rivers along with uh, Tony Paul here teaching kids how to fly cast because we do a lot of fly tying workshop with the youth in the island. Right uh, on. Anybody don't know uh, Tony Pottle, he uh, I do believe he works for the fire department here in the Stephenville. Yes, yes, he's in, he's a volunteer to hair snake program too. Also, right him on. Him and uh, Janet Frencham too is a volunteer. Well, good for good for them. Oh yes, and they kind of said that you guys are going to be the best volunteers on the on the west coast for sure. But I also gave you some wire. So this is uh, this is to 22. I'll put this down real quick. So yep. This is the 22 gauge core fill wire. So this is why here is not like what you'll get at Walmart or Canadian Tire or any other spots. So this is actually manufactured in the United States, and we buy it from a guy out in out in Quebec. And uh, you can go on their web, their core fill website, and you can get all the wire that you possibly need. You can buy bulk. You can buy them pre coiled. Which is perfect, and the Newfoundland Labrador Trapper Association promotes this wire also. Okay, now is that uh, stronger than the standard 22 gauge yes. wire or weaker? This one here is stronger than the, the 22 gauge brass wire you'll get at the stores now. This, will, this is stronger than what you will get at Walmart or Canadian Tire. And also, from what I know, uh, Blue Ridge Outfitters also sell this wire too, because that's where I first got my first batch, and I never had no complaints about it yet. You're still going to get one or two breaking, but you're not going to get 10 to 15 breaking at a time, okay. which, is, which is really good. And do you ever watch any of my uh, Rabbit snaring videos? Oh yes, I saw I saw a couple of them, and I watched the one that you just did up there. The, I think it might have been your final one where you snipped on the you oh. snipped eye hook just to see what the rabbit's going to it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I do watch your I do watch your videos. Actually, me and the missus is pretty big. Uh, watches a lot of the videos <laughs> for uh, sure. You, you ever see the way I load my rabbit snares? <laughs> no, I didn't see the way you load them yet. No, oh, I, didn't see that one. I, I saw did. I saw your trap, and I saw. Well, I watched one with the you had the eye hook inside of the tree. I don't know if that was the rabbit or. I forget now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, that was that was definitely uh, def definitely the rabbit as well. But uh, yeah, I, I can show you exactly how I uh, load snares and yeah. and it, it, it also promotes a very quick kill. Oh, that'd be perfect. I'd love to yeah. see that actually. <laughs> yeah. So here are some other things we do. We also I also gave you a snaring new flan rack card. So I know you know how to set snares. Well, just in case you know anybody that don't know about it, this promotes best practice for use of stain uh, of use of bra twenty two gauge brass wire and the pitcher cord, and uh, that's actually Eugene Tiller with the Trapper Association there. Very good. And it shows you best practices, good snaring practices, and just our address if you need any more information on snaring, and talks a little bit about the quality of the brass wire also. And uh, this is this is funded too from the Wildlife Division. Can, uh, they give us a, like they fund a little bit of some of the stuff we do in regards to the hair snake program. Yeah. So the hair snake <laughs> program I do for the, for the Wildlife Division. Yeah. And also I gave you some bookmarks with the Living Rivers program, so if you know anybody that wants any bookmarks, we give these out to our educational events too, because we go into a lot of the schools. Right so on. that promotes uh, Promotes a uh, good uh, conservation of our waterways for sure. Perfect. And that uh, we got uh, shows the youth in there doing tie fly tying. Uh, that's us doing habitat assessments on the rivers in Bay St. George. This is actually Cole Brook, a tributary off of uh, Flat Bay River. Uh, what else do I have? My little footy bag here. I think that's, oh, and I also threw in this here. Just in case you compost, we also do stuff with composting too. So that's, right little, that's little thing we. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. So this is also something to give out to people who compost. Shows you a quick rundown of what you can compost in your kitchen. 
Very good. So from the kitchen to the garden. And there's also a video on our Facebook page if anybody wanted to view it. Uh, it's uh, Interville Associates on Facebook. Right on. So yeah, that's everything in there. And also, I gave you some sardines too. That's how we, that's how we bait them in. We'll just, well, first you put the skunk lure to track them in and they'll smell the sardines. So we'll use, we use the sardines to bait it. Yeah. And uh, everything's free. So I give you everything you need and only we ask for just hair samples in return. I don't think I got any skunk lure left when I used to trap up in uh, Labrador for Pine Martin. Oh, I def I'll definitely get you a bottle because I got tons of bottles. And this year, the hat I'm wearing here is also a hat we try to give out to volunteers too also. So All right. the Newfoundland Martin Research Volunteer and we're hoping to have some more this year. Perfect. So you'll definitely get one of those when I get as soon as I get as soon as I get some in. You'll definitely have one of those. Right on. Yeah. Very good. So uh, did you see the cougar track video? Oh yeah, I saw the cougar track video. What do so, you think? Oh, I, it's getting like you said in regards to the video, like you said, with the link being on top of the snow and just how you just had all the measurements with your measuring tape shown to the tracking onto the tracking manual of it. It's just it's one of those things where it start is is believable now. I find. Yeah. You're, yeah. Seeing the, you're seeing the tracks. The tracks is not matching up with the like you said. You even showed the link tracks how the difference in between them, even with the pads. Yeah. So it's starting to it's like you said, like you said it's it's looking like there's cougars here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, sure. you, did you ever hear anybody else uh, besides me talk about seeing cougars or? Yeah, I heard a couple people actually. Uh, well, one time we'll say we were driving. Look, no like, names. Uh, oh. No names. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I did. I did hear a couple people just talk about. Uh, just talk about uh, different sightings of cougars and seeing what they saw. And uh, in regards to up, actually, there was one up on the Cold Brook area where you've been seeing them. Yeah. Uh, I heard of someone mention it out by just past glance of someone seeing one up in the hill there. So a lot of the sightings, a lot of people start starting to see them. So that's another thing. It seems like it's going to be a little bit more. So it's like, like you said, once you get them on video, it's going to be perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it's only a matter of time. Exactly. Right? Only a matter of time where you get them on video. Because the, like, like you said, you got to be careful where you put them to because you don't know who's out there at your cameras, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And and uh, you know, uh, I've lost a lot of uh, traps and. When you lose a 330 Connor bear because somebody <laughs> follows you in and that's a forty dollar trap. Exactly. Yeah. You, you get wise, and uh, even when I uh, uh, I haven't trapped now the last couple of years because of the fur market, but even when I was uh, trapping, uh, you know, full time there. Yeah. I would definitely uh, replace all my traps with uh, snares once the snow come. Oh, okay, yes. Because if you lose a snare, you're only out a couple of dollars. <laughs> exactly, you lose a yeah. trap, you're out forty dollars, and yeah, and pretty soon lose, it yeah. doesn't add up. No, it's true. If you, especially if you're losing all your traps, like you say, yeah, your traps do get expensive at the end of it. it or like it, you said, you can go to the buy a snare, or even make your own snare with the wire and the proper stuff for dirt cheap. Exactly. I'd rather be losing a snare than losing a trap for sure. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And one more yeah. thing, actually, I think I have it in here. Oh. No, I don't. I forgot to put that in. This is not my first time working with the uh, wildlife divisions in Nova Scotia. I, I was a uh, uh, nuisance wildlife operator oh, really? for, for the DNR out here, Department of Natural Resources. I would, uh, they would call me to go out and trap and remove uh, problem animals. Oh, nice. Yeah. So there's your permit. So when you go to do, especially where it's a threatened species, an endangered species, uh, or certain species, uh, you need a certain permit. So if any wildlife official comes out, you just show them this permit, and they got my name onto it. It's showing that I gave you the permit and that I showed you how to properly set it up, and all your conditions how to set it. So that's what you need there, and also your data sheet here also. So this is basically what you fill into when you get it. You need your GPS coordinate, the date you set it, and just the date you checked it, and if you got a hair sample or not. And then from the hair sample, you can send it into the wildlife division, and it's perfect. Right on. And also I'll have a... Uh, now, uh, how do you handle these hair samples? Uh, do you uh, put a rubber glove on and... Uh, yeah, so with the hair sample, so... Try not to put uh, any... Yes, exactly. So not, you don't need a rubber glove or nothing, so uh, you got this. Just grab the hair samples and put it in the bag. Yeah, so you use sticky tabs. Actually, I can get them cut now. But you just you break them off right here. So you got a little break to do it. You can break them off and you sort of put small little pieces onto it. Yeah. And then you put them up there. So say for example, if you got a pause, say if you it comes with your hair stain, you got a hair, hair, a good hair sample onto it. You didn't take the wax paper, cartridge paper. Yeah. Rip off a small little piece, say if it was just your hair sample yeah. this big. You put it over, you spread it over the hair sample like this, and then you take it and you put it in one of these envelopes. So oh, fair enough. then you seal it and then you put your GPS coordinate onto it and the date you checked it and just your name onto it. Okay. And then from there they can see with the parchment paper and the wax paper they can peel it off easier. And if the hair comes off, you can still have a perfect view of it. Ah. And then nice. they'll look at they'll look at the hair underneath uh, basically for DNA analysis and you'll find out which uh, what kind of martin in it will where the martins do, if it's a recapture or if it's a new martin, and you always wants a new martin. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And it's good too with recapture. Well I'm gonna too. try to get you uh, at least seven different martins. Oh that would be that would be perfect. So that's all all the supplies and and uh, you know they're even good enough to throw in uh, the nails and stuff to secure it 
secure the uh, trap to the tree and uh, I guess it's, it's not a trap but a hair trap to be the correct term because the animal can go in and out of it and all he's going to leave is a little sample of hair behind so thanks a lot there yeah, Eric. No problem at all. Thank, thank you for volunteering. We really hey, appreciate it. Hey, not a problem, man. Uh, yeah. I, I wish uh, I wish I would have had uh, those sooner because they'd be out already. Yeah, oh, it's tons of time next year. And, it's it's going to be going on for the next four years again, so. We, we got we got two uh, two days of rain coming now, so I don't know oh. what's going to happen to the snow bridges <laughs> back in the, in the country, but anyway, still lots of snow back there, so I should be able to get out and get get some samples. Oh, that's perfect, and we appreciate it. Like, so hopefully we'll get you a hat soon, that Darren, and tons of time next year to start her up again. And right. if you need anything, you need any supplies, any other information, any more snare wire, feel free to give me a call or send me a message for email. I'm, Fair enough. I'm always, I'm always there. I'm the only phone call away. All right. Sounds good, my buddy. <laughs> okay. See you hey, later. What do you think of the load snare? Oh, the, the load of snare? Yeah. Probably the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> yeah. If, a lot of, if, every, if everybody followed that way and did that there, there'd be a lot less rabbits getting, a lot more rabbits getting caught and a lot, a lot less breakages. So yes. that'd be perfect. That's, that's probably the ideal way to set it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Send, you, I'll send you a link to, the, to that video that I did. And, um, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I appreciate, I appreciate that. For sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. See you later. All right. Bye. Yeah. Have a great